Well, it all started with an email from Michael uh, about this time last year, so about May, early May time last year. Um, and we had worked together in 2009 on a Victoria's Secret commercial. And he sent me an email saying, look, I'm casting for another role in Transformers 3. I think you should go to the casting. I'd like you to go. And so, you know, I was, I was a bit apprehensive. There was, you know, then there was no information around the role and whatnot. And, you know, but when, uh, when a director of a movie of this size tells you to go to an audition, you would be smart to get yourself down to it. So I went and did what I thought wasn't a particularly great job, but apparently was, um, was a good job. And I got a phone call a couple of days later asking me to be in the film. And uh, actually I was casting for the new female lead. Well, it took a really long time to sink in. I don't think it sank in until I was really shooting the movie and, and it, was, it was such a fast thing that happened and with, within the time from the phone call to the time I was on, on set shooting my first scenes was like three weeks. And so it kind of just turned me upside down and I, I didn't have much time to really think about, oh my gosh, I'm doing this movie. It was just like, okay, you gotta do this, this and this. And, you know, get into acting class and go study the script and fittings and then and then I'm on set and then it was like, oh my gosh, I'm on set, I'm shooting a movie. <laughs> but it was, I was thrilled, I mean, it's a mix of emotions for sure. I think for me as, um, for me it feels like a, like a natural progression um, and I, you know, I would love to pursue acting now and, and I think it had been something that was always in the back of my head. Um, but uh, I don't know how, how similar modeling and acting are. They do go hand in hand so well in so many ways. They're also completely different. I mean, all the things that make you a great model, you know, you have to be conscious of yourself and your body and the way you look on camera. You have to completely forget those as an actress and, and forget how you look and being concerned about which way you're looking. You know, you have to lose all of that. And then, you know, I was modeling on set with pretty clothes and pretty hair and makeup and everything's clean and pretty and on time. And then you go from that to a, a back alley in Chicago where you're sweaty and dirty and hot and exhausted and you've been filming for five days for 17 hours a day and you're doing it again tomorrow and just doing that for seven months. It was a really interesting transition and, and in so many ways similar, in so many ways not.